we will be calculating today the ADMAT properties by using RDKit. You might have seen in my previous video I have calculated all the molecular properties using RDKit. So this is where we calculate ADMAT properties. And you all, all know about the Discovery Studio Visualizer which is a commercial software. They have this ADMAT calculation properties. So they have almost like six uh, properties and you can, if you have access to Discovery Studio, you can read about um, them. And these are basically the intestinal absorption, aqueous solubility, uh, blood brain barrier, uh, cytochrome P450 and plasma protein binding, hepatotoxicity, etc. Okay, so I'm going to mimic all these properties using RDKit and I will show you uh, how you can uh, utilize the Discover Studio functionalities by using RDKit and you can apply those Python scripts uh, to get the results uh, like your Discover Studio. I've written a Python script where you can calculate all the ADMET properties using the Python RDKit library and some other libraries that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to open the folder and this is the script that you need uh, RDKit, Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, Seaborn, and Scikit-learn. And this is the whole script where I have uh, defined or mimic the Discovery Studio style admit calculator or ADMET calculator, where you have the molecular weight, ALOC P98, PSA2D, uh, hydrogen bond donors, hydrogen bond acceptors, rotatable bonds, aromatic rings, heavy atoms, formal charge, and molar refractivity, okay? And then uh, you have all the properties like uh, intestinal absorption, and then um, this is your absorption, this is the aqueous uh, solubility, and this is the log uh, solubility, and I think with more, the, with more properties like uh, blood-brain uh, barrier, and all of them, you know, all together. Uh, including the hepatotoxicity as well. So there were five or six properties that were calculated uh, using Discover Studio, I have shown uh, in the video, and also the plasma protein binding, and etc. So, so everything I have included, I have just mimicked um, the Discover Studio uh, platform admit um, calculator. And then uh, what you can, how you can uh, run this. So basically what you have to do is you have to create an uh, environment first and then you have to install all the required libraries like uh, you copy this and then you go to the terminal and then create an environment python pre minus m pnv dot venv and then uh, you activate that environment source dot venv bin activate and then you install all of them together like RDKit, Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, Seaborn and Scikit-learn. Once you install that I have uh, written uh, some of the examples uh, below in the main um, you know definition in the main function so these are some of the molecules that I have defined already so I'm going to uh, predict uh, the properties the admit properties uh, for these example compounds and then later I will show you how to run a notebook to predict your compounds that you have so let me show you okay now it's installed so now what you have to do is you have to run admit prediction.py it will run and it will predict all the properties that you have and also it will give you uh, a plot as well uh, because we are using the matplotlib and seaborn so that's why it will give you a plot as well. So initially it will uh, take some time to um, calculate all the uh, properties, but uh, after the first installation or the first prediction, it will be much more faster. And this is the script for the batch uh, analysis. You can use this on your notebook and also you can convert into Python script to run all the uh, predictions uh, for your compounds and some of the compounds that I've listed over here these are some of the compounds um, that I have listed 
and these compounds will be calculated. I mean, you require uh, the columns such as smiles, uh, the name, or if you have uh, uh, canonical smiles will not work. So only the smiles column uh, will work. And I think the name column, uh, it will take the name column and then uh, smiles column and it will predict all the uh, properties. Okay, these are some of the examples uh, that I yeah, kept here and you can see that okay now uh, everything uh, the prediction has been done so it says that number of compounds uh, analyzed were six because in the script it was six so the first one is human intestinal absorption summary the moderate uh, four out of six good is one out of six poor is one out of six okay and this is the prediction for the aqueous solubility this is for uh, blood brain barrier a penetration summary this is cyp 2d6 inhibition summary this is hepatotoxicity and this is plasma protein binding uh, summary and also you get a very nice uh, plot similar to this as you can see uh, so you have the absorption versus the solubility the uh, blood brain barrier penetration and this is cytochrome p um, uh, versus hepatotoxicity this is ALOG P98 polar surface and uh, absorption space, solubility, and, and then uh, your model applicability. Okay, so these are some of the reliable predictions that we have done. Uh, it might be not accurate, um, equivalent to the Discovery Studio because they use, that's a commercial software. They are um, uh, very well sophisticated, um, you know, um, scripts they have or the algorithms they have but at least you can predict uh, uh, whatever the free resources that you have like uh, you know audi kit you can use okay let me show you a, a jupyter notebook where you can utilize the commands to predict the properties for a you know batch csv file so first thing that you require is uh, in the environment you have to install ipy kernel Okay, so once you install that, then you need to, you know, pin that uh, Python environment into the kernel. So this is the command where you can pin the uh, Python environment that you have created into the Jupyter Notebook. So the command is python minus m ipy kernel install user name dot env. That's your environment name. The display name should be in python env. Okay. So once you do that, it will pin your virtual environment into the Jupyter Notebook, okay? And then you type in Jupyter Notebook. And it will open up uh, in the browser, okay? I have already created this uh, Python Notebook file, which is ADMET IPYNB. So that you can open and I have uh, written some of the markdown files where you know, what are the columns that you might expect from your analysis using the ADMT properties uh, using RDKit. So the first column would be your smiles, the compound name, molecular weight, ALOG P98, which is the octanal water partition coefficient. So it predicts the lipophilicity by the ALOG P98 method. And this is your polar surface area in 2D, uh, which can affect your absorption. This is the hydrogen bond donors, acceptors, uh, rotatable bonds, aromatic rings, heavy atoms, the formal charge, and molar refractivity. Okay, based on the molecular size and polarizability. Next comes the adiamity properties, where uh, the first thing, uh, the, or the first column would be your absorption level, okay? So it's based on intestinal uh, absorption levels and descriptors. Next one is the solubility, which is the most important factor in ADMT properties that predicts the uh, water solubility. Then the drug likeliness, and then uh, comes the BBB or blood brain barrier penetration. And next comes the CYP2 uh, D6 enzyme, important for the uh, metabolism. And then your predictions for the liver toxicity, which is hepatotoxic um, applicability. And then comes your plasma protein binding predictions. Remember, these all parameters you get from Discovery Studio as well, which is commercial one. 
but you can also do the same predictions using the Audicate library. Okay, this is uh, just an image. Okay, so here you have uh, two compounds. Per se, you have uh, two compounds that you define by using my compounds. Okay, then uh, from this file, which is your admt prediction.py, you are going to import uh, this particular class, which is the DS style admt calculator. So I'm going to show that to you. So this is your class you are importing right now. Okay, let me close this. Yeah, this is the class you are importing. And in this class, you have uh, all the codes written for all the ADMT properties along with the molecular properties as well. Okay. And then uh, there is a function called uh, DS style ADMT calculator. Okay. Um, so you calculate, you define the variable where you want to calculate uh, all these predictions. Uh, those are, um, um, I have defined it as my compounds. And then uh, there is a function called analyze compounds and you pass on all the uh, compounds that you have listed over here, which is my compounds. And then uh, you have this uh, DS report. I have all these functions inside the uh, Python script. So you can save it as a uh, results.csv uh, and you can also plot the properties as well so once you run this uh, it will uh, take some time and it will um, produce uh, these uh, results which is uh, your ADMT properties how many compounds have been analyzed and um, uh, the properties such as moderate good medium uh, you know high uh, something like that okay you will get all the results so let me show you the results so this is your first results uh, from those two uh, compounds and uh, if you can make it big so you see uh, along with the molecular properties you get the ADMT properties as well so they are your smiles you know this is your compound name compound one and compound two this is your molecular weight ALOP 98 PSA 2d donors acceptors rotatable bonds aromatic rings heavy atoms formal charge this is your refractivity ADMT absorption level and uh, from here it starts the ADMT properties okay um, absorption ALOC P98 PSA 2d solubility level you know everything including the BBB um, the metabol uh, the metabolism factor and your hepatotoxicity and uh, even your uh, plasma binding uh, applicable uh, application okay so this is the way that you predict all the properties and you can save it as a csv file which is good and you have this uh, plot uh, where you have all the compounds uh, admt properties you know just for the visualization purpose okay uh, next comes uh, I have created another script which is called batch analyzer so uh, what it does is it takes up all the compounds that you have and uh, th that you have listed in the uh, CSV file so for instance I have uh, this particular CSV file where I have um, um, pasted some of the compounds from zinc database uh, name canonical smiles and uh, these are the smiles so it will only consider uh, the smiles um, column, not the canonical smiles. This is only for your reference. So this is uh, the smiles. And uh, um, so the command is from the batch analyzer. This is your Python script, which is the batch analyzer.py. And I have this uh, class called batch ADMT analyzer. Uh, you can open this and you will see this class. So basically, what you are doing is you are importing the class uh, from the Python file, okay? And then uh, I passed uh, it on to a variable called an analyzer. And then I have these functions called analyze from smiles file. Uh, this is your um, path to the CSV file, which is compounds.csv file, which is here. And then the column that you want to uh, take the predictions from uh, is from smiles. Uh, name column is name batch size 100 if you have uh, millions of compounds then you can 
batch it to maybe 1,000 or 2,000, 10,000, 100K, something like that. And finally, you give the output to addemetresults.csv file. Also, it can create a summary plot as well. So once you run this, and you can see how fast it is. Um, so it's um, basically done. So this is your uh, ADMT plots. It can tell you out of all your compounds how much has the, um, um, what is the distribution of the ADMT properties uh, of your compounds. So there are in total of uh, 50 compounds. Okay, just a summary out of that. And then you have the results uh, in a CSV file where you have the compound name, smiles, molecular weight, uh, you know, the same properties. But one good thing about um, this one, um, this particular batch analyzer, is that it will tell you a summary of the uh, ADMT properties. Not like the previous one where you get all the values, but it will tell you an overview of the summary, how the absorption is, how the solubility is, how the BBB level is. So it will um, you know, categorize them into uh, moderate, high, good, bad, medium, you know, all those levels and uh, whether they are you know, yes and no, these are the two factors also that will help you. So if you have a, um, millions of compounds, then um, you can uh, easily categorize them into all these categories. And finally, once you get that, then you can paste in those smiles to get the exact uh, values. But it will give you an overview of the ideas. Okay, you can modify the script as you like. Okay, so yeah. That's it. I mean, you can utilize uh, these two uh, things. I am going to upload to my uh, GitHub channel called as ADMT. Uh, in the ADMT folder. So you go to this Omixium uh, YouTube channel and then uh, I'll upload here as ADMT properties calculator. And then uh, you can utilize those scripts to predict ADMT properties. Okay, so yeah, that's it. And thank you very much. Uh, please enjoy watching uh, all my uh, videos and please suggest or comment below uh, what would be my next video. And thank you very much.